everyone. Uh, it's Toxic Roach here. Uh, I do apologize for the audio. I know it's a little goo, uh, echoey. Uh, my other mic uh, broke and I have to get a new one. Um, but today I'm here to do a walkthrough of my Volcano Fortress level. Now I designed this uh, a few years ago and been keeping it up to date with uh, the new Minecraft versions, and uh, I, but I realized I'd never done a proper run through, so I'm gonna do that today. So real quick, when you spawn in, it should be here in this room. If it's not, um, someone might be. If you, I think it's a maximum of four players to this game, um, and all you have to do is pull the lever, and everyone will teleport right here, and it'll reset your game mode to adventure mode, and all that other fun stuff. Uh, first thing you'll see is right here. Place key in the dispenser to open the door. Now in here, we have a key. Which, uh, again, you will need no mods for this. This is literally just a renamed tripwire hook. And all you have to do to unlock doors is this. Boom. Easy peasy. Now... We have lost contact with the Lazarus Volcano Mine. This mine is extremely valuable, produces high amount of resources on, out of all of our locations. Ah, oh, wait, no. Your mission is to investigate why the fortress has gone dark, then report back when we, so we can get things up and running again. I wrote that a while ago, Jesus. Now, I usually prefer it to be night. I don't know why I set it today. Hang on real quick. Uh, let's push the chunks out a little more. There we go. Little walk up. Doo -doo -doo. Boop, boop, boop. Sprinting. Oh, this little path is just to really pad the runtime, honestly. <laughs> and then there she is. Load, please. I demand you load. There it goes. That looks ugly. Load! Thank you. But how cool does that look? Built into the mouth of a volcano. So yes, this will set your spawn point, so if anything happens, you're going to be okay. But Here's our first room. This is the main hall. This is where uh, all the items... Uh, you will need to collect five stones throughout the uh, entire level to continue. Um, and then you place them in their appropriate chests to move on, really. Let's stretch through here. Now, again, this is a walkthrough. So, spoilers to puzzles will be told. If you do not want to see them, Stop watching here. Thank you. Okay, so in our dining room, which is our back room, there are you know, some banners, a long table. But one of the banners is a little different. It's our skull. Now this one's fairly easy. All you have to do is pull this lever. Uh, this guy will drop away. It leads you into a back room with some chests, some skulls. Yeah, journal number two. And a key. So that's one. Now, let's go this way. So off to the left. First room, we have the gallery. Gallery's real simple, just a bunch of paintings and stuff. I also found these, like, really clever. Um, and there's a ladder back here that you can't quite reach. 
But if you come around over this way, push that button, it'll raise that block so you can climb it. Yep. Top down here, key. Pop down again. There we go. Ow. Now we move through to the chapel. Again, nice little area of worship. Confessionals I thought were pretty clever. Because uh, you can, you know. And here we have the uh, priest quarters with the notes by the priest. And another key. Now, we'll read all the books before uh, I move on to the next level. Back the other way. We have the library. Now, this one is fairly simple. Uh, we have the spiral staircase and all, but there doesn't seem to be much until you notice that over here... Just a little switch, flip that, door will open up here, moves through to the hidden library, another key over here, and I believe in this one there should be journal one. Moving back through, once you exit, if you were to go straight, you'll find yourself in the kitchen. Now, there are no keys in here. You won't find much if you're not looking closely. Now, if you look real close, there's a chest back here with netherrack. And the I believe there's a hint to that in one of the books. Um, in journal 1, I have closed off and hidden the entrance to the lower levels after the incident. Now, the only way to get in is by the stones I've hidden around the castle. Placing them... <laughs> then placing the stones in the right... Did I not finish that book? Oh, there might be two. I've hidden most of the stones to the best of my ability, but I could not find a good spot for the last one. So in a panic, I threw it in the big oven. Now I'm worried it'll be, it's been destroyed, but it may be for the best. So again, that was this one. Priest notes. What they found on there makes me question everything I've ever known. I'm sick of funerals. And, you know, I'm trying to create that creepy, spooky atmosphere. Anyway, so that covers down here. Come up. Place key in the door. It'll open. Now, this is first floor. First, you're met with another key door right here. This leads to the music room. Now, this is one of the only rooms in the entire game that doesn't really have anything. It's got the record player, so you can put on some scary tunes, drum set, guitar. These are guitars, by the way. Uh, piano but this has no key or any additional puzzle stuff. Um, now, on the right of either side are bathrooms. The bathroom on the left has nothing. There's no puzzles, there's no keys as well. At least I don't think. Um, but the one on the right does. By moving through the center door, which I already had opened, uh, you'll come down here, back to the right, key. So moving around this direction, clockwise, uh, we enter the billiards room. These are supposed to be pool cues wrapped up and ready to go, but there's a small switch back here. You're just going to throw that, and what that'll do 
is open this door, which is the casino. So we've got blackjack tables, uh, roulette tables, and uh, slot machines. Now these are actually fairly clever. You pull it, and they light up. Some of them will even give you stuff like that. Just gave me a key, and that gave me the gold block. So cha-ching. Now continuing on in the clockwise direction, uh, we have a uh, back room. Now, placing a key in here, as you see, will not open the door. A normal key will not open this back door. So we got to keep moving. Open that door. It looks like we just have a sitting area. Kind of relaxed tea room. But another switch in that back corner, which will open the center room. Which, if I pull the lever here, leads to the third floor key. So obviously that's going to be the one that opens that other door. But if we open that, this is the uh, sauna, by the way. So we got a hot tub. Uh, back here is the actual sauna, I believe. If I yeah, you can set it so smoke will come out and it'll cook the wood that's in here. You know, I try and be authentic. But then down here we have the pool, which is pretty nice. Um, now this is maybe the one of the hardest keys to find. Down here in the center is a hopper uh, with a key in it. That is basically the drain that the key is flushed down. But it may be difficult to find. I tried my best to highlight it. <laughs> so let's head back. Uh, that covers this floor. So if we head back this way and use the third floor key to open that, we will have access to this, the upper level. Now, both ways lead to the same room, which is the dance hall, which will start dark. Now, over here is the light switch, which, come on, there you go. Doesn't really light a lot, it's kind of a bummer. <laughs> I was hoping it would light a lot more, and it really doesn't. But uh, on the side of each door here, there's a button. There's one right there, one right there, and one right there. So you push that. And we push the other one. And that will lead us to this one. Um, this button is not active until the um, uh, light block is underneath it. If you push it repeatedly, it will do nothing until that block is there. Because once you push that, blocks in the center of the room will change from uh, marble to the light up aluminum blocks. And this back door will open underneath, leading you to underneath the dance floor. Now back here, there are two things. There is the diamond block, and all the way around the other side, I wonder if you can guess by now, it's a key. So moving back to the other door. We can continue on upstairs. Now, when you go to this last floor, you will need three keys. If you do not have three keys, you will not be able to continue. Um, this is our main 
section. We have a locked door over here that will not work with regular keys. Just kind of our library lounge area. But let's do it first. Here we have place a key in there. That leads you into one of the bedrooms. Uh, nothing particularly of interest here until you open the closet and find this hey, secret hidden room with the lights that are not registering. Um, there we go. If I flip that switch, and it appears to do nothing, but what it's actually doing is affecting this room here. So, uh, this wood block was raised, and this just looked like a normal desk, like this one over here. But by flipping the switch in the other room, this drops and reveals a switch, which you can pull. And I broke it earlier, crap. <laughs> it will work for you, I promise, but I, I was trying to count earlier and I fucked it up. But it, that should open up for you. Go back to adventure mode. There you go. And that will open right up for you and lead you into the back area here, where there's the tower key. Now this should leave you with two remaining keys. Uh, tower key and one more. Put the last key in the lock over here, and this will lead you to the um, studio, the painting studio. I thought this was fairly clever. The wool is supposed to be canvas. I, I don't know. I, I struggled with the. <laughs> I was running out of room ideas, to be entirely honest. But if you come back and you push this lapis button, the lapis block will pop out. And you'll need that for later. Continuing forward, let's move to the tower. So we place the tower key in the door, and this will unlock the tower area. Now this one is fairly simple, but it's uh, it's quite a little bit of uh, backtracking. Uh, first door you're met with is this one which will lead you to a small tower over here. By going down into the lower level, you will find chests uh, and uh, armor, unused armor stands, basically. Uh, the book I put for my friend, it really has nothing to, pertaining to every P person. But there's a switch over here in the corner, you're going to flip that. And what that's going to do is open, I believe it's the top tower door. So if we continue forward, or I'm sorry, backwards, like I said, backtracking area. So naturally you'd think it would open this, this tower, but it doesn't. We're going to continue up to the top. all the way up. And this one will be open. Now again, it's a simple flip of that switch. And then what these do is they open like the next one. So now that door is open. a little bit of a, a dungeon kind of a tower for someone who's real bad. Continuing backward. <laughs> now you're going to want to watch your step here. If you fall, you will probably die. It's another little lounge kind of area. Flip the switch. Now this is fairly simple once you realize what, what you're doing. It's fairly repetitive, but 
which is time consuming. And then the last door that opens is this one, which will give you the block of iron. So one, two, three, four, five. Five blocks, we need six. I think, yeah, six. Because there's one more at the top. So we're gonna head all the way back up. Dun, 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 dun. Need to add some action music, but I probably won't because I can't find free ones. And we'll have the uh, basically the attic area. So. We've got books, tons, uh, armor pieces, apples, uh, we got, you know, you can check every one of these. Uh, some will have things, some won't. Um, I think recently with the most recent update I did add, yeah, the Totems of Undying. There are four of these hidden throughout. Uh, I won't show you all of the locations. I will have to let you find the rest. Um, but if, what you do is you head all the way through to this back area. This chest here. Now what this is is an arrow. It's pointing to the right. Because this armor piece with the skull on it is actually holding a key. It's a little difficult to pick up. There it is. Oh, I just put those armor pieces on, I guess. Ah, fuck. It's a little difficult to grab, but you can pick it up often. So that last key will leave. We head back. We'll lead you to this door over here. Place the key inside. Door will open. These little stairs can be a little tricky because they're very thin, but they're a lot quicker. An easier way of moving up. Leave this door here, and it's time, so you gotta get through. But you can get through. And then, we'll lead you up here. Get the block of emerald! This should be every block you need. <laughs> now, the reason you're hearing that is because I've got dispensers up here that are spitting out bats. But the problem is they're stacking on top of each other because I wanted the person, uh, the way I wanted it to look is when you came up here, there were just a hundred bats that would like clear out by your presence. Uh, and it kind of works, but the problem is they just stack like this. And then you've got to go up and you've got to break the stack for them to really scatter. So I'm going to do it. if I break that. There they are. <laughs> uh, that's kind of the ambience I was going for. But I cannot get them from, you know, stacking. So... See how cool that would have when you came up to there's just hundreds of bats. Moving back down, easily get out. But that button that opens that door also activates the dispensers. So that's why you need that little button area. 
Now, for time's sake, I'm just going to zip back down to the bottom in creative mode. But you will have to backtrack your way through well, all of this. Round over this way. Now you'll see sets of armor uh, laid out on these armor stands. They're basically just supposed to be suits of armor. You can pick them up and put them on, although you will get a better one uh, in a little bit. So there's really no point. Okay, so we're back down in the main area. Let's switch back to adventure mode. So again, like I said, we've got each of these four boxes. Now, if you put the wrong block in the wrong chest, it won't go anywhere. But if you put the right one, it will vanish. Let's put the iron, gold, oh, what was that one? It was diamond. diamond, oh see I fucked that one up, there we go, and the last should be lapis, now when you place the last block the floor will open over here, dropping lots of carpet for you, but leading you down into the dungeon. Now in the dungeon area, there's some cool stuff. You know, just standard, super creepy. But there's a door over here that leads you to the laboratory. Um, now, if you were playing this in easy, um, which I don't know if I am, I, it's difficult to do in not a server, because in a server you can turn off mobs unless they're placed, and this you really can't. But this was supposed to have a couple of uh, the Ender Guardians, so. You'd be able to turn that on and see them floating around, and then you could feed them squid, which I uh, thought was pretty clever. But then there are, there should be notes, um, yeah, on the portal. We're still amazed that the portal was left here millions of years ago by things we've never seen. It was discovered while expanding into the mine volcano. We, we figured out how to turn it on, and we began our tests. On day three, several creatures came through and attacked the workers. Those would be the guardians. Uh, we managed to capture two and have been studying them. Uh, the rest have died out of water, so we quickly built a setup for them. Their poison extre is extremely potent and very hazardous. Um, I've been studying the data from the portal and have designed some suits of armor capable of surviving the trip through the portal. I've sent the specs to the foundry, but to be made, but we have no idea what to expect on the other side at all. Uh, all who have gone through have not come back. Hopefully these new suits will help. And that's true. I, I in, Over in the foundry area, which is on the next level down, there are some super sweet, very pretty, uh, enchanted suits of armor. Which is why I said you will not need um, any of the armor. So, so you've got your choice. You can either have a sword or a bow, but if you're playing with four people, you're going to have to, you know, argue over who gets what. Uh, let's suit up, though. I'll take the bow. In the center chest here, we have another totem of dying. Again, that's two out of the four. You've got to find the rest. And a bunch of arrows. And a swords. So, like, even people who, yeah, I guess you won't have to argue. But, <laughs> and you can stock up on stuff. Yeah, well, I need a shield. And, uh, you will. You will need all of this. Um, I should put it on. There we go. I don't know what. 
chickens doing down here. But moving on. <laughs> Uh, the last room down here doesn't really have anything of importance. I just think it's kind of cool. It's the catacombs, uh, which have the severed heads of all that have lived and then the important people. But um, that's my head. See? And that's my friend's head. Because fuck him. And then, uh, I don't even think that's his head anymore. Uh, and then down here on the bottom level, you don't have to jump. There are stairs. But, we've got an area with a minecart track that you can't continue on. Uh, pent up resources, and then we've got this back area. This back area houses all the minecarts. I've added way more than any group of people would need, but there are extras. You place minecart on the track, obviously hop in, throw the lever, and you begin on this This long roller coaster minecart track into this deep uh, volcanic mine. Now this took some work. I had a lot of fun making it. It was really tough to get the uh, the minecarts to roll back and forth like they do, and to make the uh, all the resources look like they were natural. Let's see, there's another one going around. Just automated shipping, uh, moving stuff around. And then on the last area, where they just had broken through, they discovered this. It's a large sphere. Now, this part of the game, technically speaking, you need a really tough computer to run. I'm talking really tough, because <laughs> this slows my shit down. So, hitting button one, we'll start the light sequence. That will travel all the way around, obviously following redstone, and then cycle around the ceiling. Button over here... We'll fire green lasers and fireworks. Again, you can see me starting to lose some frames. And the uh, the loading for the light is becoming glitchy. The last one is the center button, which will open giant nether portals here. Once all three buttons are pressed, the tr uh, floor will give way and uh, basically drop you into an... Oh, you can't leave either. If you try to run away, you can. Um, drop you into an end portal, which will teleport you here. With a shit ton of signs <laughs> that you don't need, because that's, uh, that's how everything broke away. And it'll teleport you here. The end castle. And yes, you will have to fight the end dragon. Uh, I will leave this here though, because I don't want to give away how to do that, or how to spoil any of the fun. Also, it's because this is this version of the level, it's, I think he's broken. Um, no! Shit, I lied! Ah! scattered ammo crates, but climbing this structure that it, as he's destroying it is not the easiest of tasks.
Let's find game mode. Ah! Fuck off! Hurt him. Ow! Fucking fire. What if I can stab him? There we go. Ah! I didn't even put my shield up. Now, not a lot of this is supported, so as the more he comes through and breaks shit, the less ground you have to stand. You may not always be able to get him. I mean, this is basically, I mean, you guys don't need to see an Ender Dragon fight, because you know what... This basically is. There, ah, god damn it. There is no uh, regenerating towers. All of those are gone. Oh, fuck. Can't hurt him here with arrows. Get him. Get him. Get him. Now the totems of undying really come in handy if you fall. If you fall, you're in big trouble because that can be the more lethal than the dragon itself, and they will basically keep you from death. Come here, fucker. Gotcha. Oh, let's see how it is. Ow. Ah, oh. miss. Come on! Come here. Ah! Chest broke. No, it didn't. Ah! There he goes. No, oh, see, see, now I'm having trouble getting close to him. Come here. Ah! Shit. 
<sighs> so close. Lose the ground to stand on. Oh, I can't get to him. Got him. And this leads back home. Now! And this will lead you to the credits. Um, but that is basically uh, my Volcano Fortress game. Um, if you like this, uh, there should be a download link in the description. Um, as well as, uh, if you like this, leave me a little like. Um, or anything else, share it with people, spread it around, because I want it to do well. And then once you're done with the credits, it'll just teleport you back to the front door. But, um, I had a lot of fun making this. Uh, I was going for kind of, you know, like the Doom kind of stuff. There's a lot more hidden in there that I didn't get to. More hidden journals and other hidden, you know... Weird, creepy things. Like I said, there are more totems that you could use. And um, depending on the difficulty you set it at, it could be really, really difficult to fight that bad last bad guy. So if you've got more than one player, it may be smart to up the difficulty a little bit. Come on, load. There we go. It's getting there. <laughs> but um, yes, please, if you like this, give it a download, give it a share, comment. Let me know what you guys thought, uh, and I'll talk to you all later. Thanks for watching.